After a rest day yesterday, um, because it was raining all day, I got soaked the day before, and I arrived yesterday morning, it was raining. Um, so I had a rest day and I went to the winery, and then I met up with the guys from the winery and went to the pub. So, <laughs> it's going to be a long day today on the bike, I'll tell you. Um, I'm heading down Hakamira Valley, or I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, which is ahead of me. And over here is where I stayed, which is uh, Karau or Karai, depending on who you speak to. And I've got about 60 kilometers today down the valley, and then I'll reach the saddle and I'll camp just below the saddle, and I'll go over it tomorrow. And it's a beautiful day, and it's nice and cool, and it's not raining, which is always a bonus. So, I will see you in the valley. Down there. Uh, here I am, I'm about 50 k's up the valley. And in front of me is the pass, which I'll be going over. I've got about another 10k to the top of the pass. And I was going to camp, but if you have a look at the clouds, the clouds are very low here. Or I'm very high, one or the other. And camping means that I'll be camping in the clouds, so it's going to be misty and wet. Uh, I'll have a look what it's like when I get up the top, or I'll uh, push on over the pass and camp on the other side. And I've been following this river all day today. And the guys who have been fishing on it, I passed some guys about 5k's ago, and they say it's just absolutely full of uh, trout this river. If only I had a rod, I could have fresh trout tonight. Right, I'm going to get up this pass and see how misty it is. Here I am on the pass, and um, there's just me and a few cows over there. And in the valley, the next valley that I'm going to go into, because I'm going to push into it, over here, you can't quite see it, but there's blue sky right at the um, end. I'm going to push in there, and hopefully it'll be drier on that side of the valley than this side, and um, find somewhere to camp. But it's beautiful here. Have a look. And it's just starting to rain, so I'm going to push on. See you on the other side. Adios. The weather's doing its best today to get at me. It's now hailstoning. And they hurt. <laughs> Brilliant. But when the wind's blowing and they hit you when I'm cycling, ow, it is actually quite painful. But there's my patch of blue. <laughs> and hopefully the weather improves in the next valley. 
Right, I'm gonna get out of here before I get stung to death. And here we are at the top of the pass and over there we have Waimati and here we have Mackenzie. And in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, but is Mount Cook with the snow. And that's where I'll be heading tomorrow, towards there. So I'm going to drop down now a couple of hundred meters, get out of the wind, but there's blue sky over there. And then I'll set camp up for the night. Right, I'm out of here. Here I am, I've just set up camp for the night and I'm um, down by the pass I came over is here and then I'll just drop down into the valley the next side and it's a blue sky which is lovely and you can see how much cloud there is in the other valley um, and I'm hoping it'll stay there and it, this is where I'm going to camp tonight. A beautiful spot. I've got the river right by me to get uh, water and then it's quite windy here so hopefully this bush here will keep me protected tonight if the rain comes in. Right well great day on the bike um, and that's my last mountain range that I need to cross and there, in the distance, is Mount Cook. 